Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs and for all of those of you who didn't watch the full uh, video series about uh, the component tester shootout where in part three I nearly by chance discovered how to self calibrate the FISH 8840 or compatible or similar types of this uh, component tester. I'll um, repeat this in this extra video. Uh, you'll see the FISH 8840 just in the way that we supply it with these little uh, test leads and the mini grabber test hook leads or however they are called. And what you should do before starting the test button you should connect all three leads together. You can of course also do this by putting wire bridges from test point one to two and from two to three so, so that all three test points are connected. And you should have one more thing at hand, a high quality, preferably a plastic film capacitor of more than 100 uh, nanofarads capacitance. Here I took one with uh, 0.47 microfarads, which translates to 470 nanofarads. Uh, ideally would be a polypropylene uh, capacitor. Here I don't have one at hand, so I'll use this uh, MKT, which is I think poly... Oh, I don't know. The, this, the lower quality ones. Anyway, it should be a plastic film capacitor of reasonable uh, quality. You can also use polystyrene if you have one with such a high capacitance at hand. At hand. Now let's press the test button and we can read that it goes into self-test mode automatically because it has recognized all three test leads are connected. There are all in all, I think, 10 steps and you can see the steps that has just um, been tested here at the now we are at number four of the whole test and after a few seconds now we are um, we shall release the probes which we'll do now and the test goes on and in step number seven or eight which we uh, are ordered to connect the uh, capacitor. Just let's wait for a few seconds. I'll already prepare this. All the, t the test results are displayed here. And now we shall connect a cap capacitor between leads one and three. This is the black and the red one here. And the test will continue and it measures the internal capacitances. Now self-test ends and then it automatically goes into the measurement of the connected device. So and that was it. Easy self-test and the result of all the measured um, uh, internal resistances and internal capacitances is stored in uh, EEPROM. So you only have to do this once or uh, if you uh, change the setting, for example, you use other test leads, you should repeat the self-calibration. But that was easy and that was it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and bye from Roger, bye from Kanka Labs. Until next time.